Hello people, welcome to Vibe, the show that gives you a weekly rundown of the biggest stories and moments in the showbiz world. This week I bring you a mix of stories touching on bold claims, top-notch fashion and some good news for the music and movie lovers. We'll also take a quick trip back to the Super Bowl. I am Rejoice Ewodagi. Let's go! When exes air each other's dirty laundry, the drama can get as wild as can be imagined. This is why former lovebirds Nicki Minaj and McMill's Twitter fight comes in at number 5 on the vibe trends this week. The duo are definitely not fulfilling the friendly exes' cheerful ending to a breakup story as they appear to have both aimed shots at where they expect to inflict the most damage on each other. Their most recent beef started after Minaj took to her Instagram stories to respond to Mill liking a post making fun of her husband's outfit. In response, Minaj alleged that Mill had attacked her in front of her mother and also beat up his own sister. Shortly after, Mill responded refuting the claims and roping in her brother, who is currently in jail for child molestation. Their tweet war comes just a week after Mill ran into Minaj and her husband at a store in Los Angeles and thereafter got involved in a shouting match. While we're waiting to see who is going to take the beef to the studio first between the warring rappers, we already know who's about to serve what he's been cooking in the studio lately from this side of the Atlantic, and it's One Day Cole. At number 4 is the big news from the self-professed Black Diamond and former Mo Hits record Golden Boy, One Day Cole, as he confirms that he will be dropping a full body of work soon. The bumper to bumper singer who all of a sudden got active in recent times following years of hibernation responded to a plea for a new album from a fan with a confirmation date of March 6th. This would be his first full body of work in six years. Another returnee from a long break, Terry G, occupies the number three spot on the trends. The Free Madness crooner, who has been away from the music scene for a while, has described himself as the Jesus of Nigerian music. While he clearly stated that he is not the Christ, he dubbed himself Jesus because according to him, he set the pace for the current sound in the industry. He also has this to say about raving singer Naira Mali. So Naira Mali being compared with me is because he is he's trying to archive my image. That's based on who I am. Well, we won't spend too much time trying to understand what that means. Quickly at number two, it appears like we found Nigeria's version of Kim Kardashian in former Big Brother Ninja housemate Natacha Akide, popularly known as Tacha. No, she doesn't have a sex tape out, but she's starting her own new reality TV show, Keeping Up with Tacha. The reality TV star whose online influence grows by the day revealed a teaser from the show on Instagram saying it would keep the titans glued to their screens. And before revealing the number one story on the Vibes trends, we give an honorary mention to the newly released Nike design for the Nigerian football team. Still basking in the accolades from the Nigerian World Cup jersey, which was adjudged the best of the tournament, Nike's latest design is fashioned after the popular Nigerian ceremonial outfit locally called Agbada. Log on to www.thechannelstv.com for more on that. Finally, topping the list is Shakira and Jennifer Lopez, who gave us what is arguably a breath of fresh air at this year's Super Bowl's halftime gig in Miami. At the event, the duo proved that they could not only sing but belly dance, crowd surf, knee slide, pole dance and even play the drums as they performed 20 songs in 12 minutes. The electric performance made them top headlines after what many have described as two years of not so impressive halftime shows. Now with the events done and dusted, let's take a quick look at some other events that have caught our fancy. In Nollywood, Bibi Ninja Sadi will be making his acting debut in a new romantic comedy titled Dear Afi. The movie, which is set to hit the cinemas just in time for the Valentine's, also features the likes of Tenny the Entertainer, Tony Abraham, and Toleki and Timini Egusan, amongst others. And to some new music, Yemi Alade links up with four-time Grammy winner Angelique Kijo on her latest single, Shekere. The track, which is a celebration of Africa, shows influences from Kijo's 1990s hit track, Wombolombo, and it's sure to get you grooving. 
The African-centric visuals are directed by Ovi Eseyase, while the track is produced by Ainko Owoko. Meanwhile, Born Your Boy and Jamaican reggae singer Coffee are finally giving fans the collaboration many have been anticipating. The 19-year-old Grammy Award winner and Born Your Boy were spotted together in a viral video at a studio for a recording session and fans cannot wait for the release of their new tune. For fashion lovers, all roads led to the Big Apple as the New York Fashion Week kicked off with top designers displaying their latest collections. Mons and Rag and Bone kicked things off while Fenty had a pop-up for Rihanna's latest collection at Begdorf Goodman, a luxury department store in the city. Held every year in February and September, the New York Fashion Week is one of four major fashion weeks in the world, collectively known as the Big Four, along those in Paris, London and Milan. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and that is Channel Television to receive notifications about the show and other exciting videos. Remember, a new episode drops every Saturday. See you next week.